yes, we're going to do um, a wrap up, and uh, we have a very special guest to do this uh, uh, wrap up with. I would like to ask uh, Frank Miedema to come to the front, um, Open Science Chair and Vice Rector Research. Yeah, maybe you can uh, you can join in. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's all about love. <laughs> maybe you can sit over there, Frank. There's an extra. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you're here, you can. So, um, um, yeah, may maybe you can share some of your thoughts. I mean, yeah. you've, you've, you've listened all, all afternoon. Um, maybe you can give a short wrap-up yeah. of what you've yeah. heard. Uh, I don't know whether you're going to like it, but um, anyhow. Huh. Um, I hope so. I, was, um, I have some, say, some um, observations, right? And this is, of course, my private observations. And uh, so this, let's discuss, right? My first name is sure. Frank, so let's be Frank. All right, Frank. Okay. Um, so there are several things that, that are come to mind. So Lauren and colleague, um, then I say, oh, this is all about politics. P politi this is politics, and this is all talking with polit politicians, and this is going into the, the real world. My God. And, um, and, and this is really French engagement. That's, some different, that's something different than, than engagement, like we talk in public engagement. This is really going into it because you have an idea. This is not going well. There's a problem, et cetera, et cetera. So, this is, uh, it is, this is totally being mingling with polit politicians and with politics. And you've got a question about that, eh? What about neutrality, et cetera? Science is neutral, it's always neutral, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, and then the archaeology. Um, interesting. Um, and I was asking the question, so do you publish together? Uh, how, how, does that, how is that being done? Uh, so how do you... It's not my fault. Oh, well. Heartbreaking. heartbreaking. Yeah. It's a heartbreaking the, comment. Yeah. Already, <laughs> hypnosis. Yeah. Uh, so, so there, that's that's interesting. So there's data, and there's interpretation, and then then there is papers, results, etc. This, of course, this is what we do regularly in medicine, eh? with studies with patients and and, and patient advocacies. Uh, um, people have s survived cancer and talk about it, etc. So we learn from them. We learn. So you learn from your neighbor, and we learn from patient patient advocacy. So, so that's and that's also eng engagement, of course, uh, very much. And, and you, you depend on each other. So we depend a lot on patients and on, on say, for instance, in psychiatry, thinking about, so I never went in a psychosis, like, so, and, and never depressed. So, but talking to people who have experienced and have, have, have family members who have experienced, et cetera, that helps you getting to a question, get, gets you to the question. So what, what's also here is Joel, of course, he's talking to people and they say, well, we have a discussion, we have an issue with time. He had never thought about time because he thought that homeless people have a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. <Sorry>. No. It's echt een echte wetenschapper. Of course, nuanced. there's more sophistication to it. Uh, we come back to that. And um, so, so, but so, most of the times you discuss with other people who are outside your frame. So I gave my, uh, I will do my, my, my trick. I, uh, I, we did HIV AIDS research. Some of you have heard it before, but I'm going to repeat it because you never forget it. And I never forget it. And I was in the Rode Hood in the, on the Keizersgracht and we had these 200, uh, 150 people, 200 people. They were homosexual men dying from HIV infection. It was in 1992. It was no therapy. Therapy came in, in 1996. And in that time we gave, I was a young guy and I was like this, uh, say, uh, Presenting my my science paper, I had we had a paper in science. It is very very high. That, that's, uh, that's real cocaine, and so that's very high. I mean, to totally uh, say the addicted to that, and I was explaining my paper, and uh, and uh, it was about apoptosis of T cells. Very much, I'm an immunologist, and they were like you are looking at me. So those 150 people were looking at me, but huh? And uh, what is it all about? And then, I, and of course, I uh, immediately after four, 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 five minutes, I lost. I saw I lost everybody in the audience. I was just an, a very. Um, I, I, I wanted to become a professor. I needed a high uh, journal impact factor paper, and this was my first one step to academia. I, I was becoming a professor in 1996, and so, and then of course I lost uh, track. I, I got nervous, and then, then, then of course at the end of my talk, somebody came. Uh, one of those people came uh, in front and said, "Ah, the day leuk hoor, schattig." And uh, my, but I have a real question. And my question is, I'm zero positive, HIV infected, and my friend also. Do we have to use condoms when we have sex? I was looking like you now. I was like, huh? 
That type of questions don't come to mind if you are in the hood, culturing viruses and lymphocytes and cells, but then you see the real world, and that you take that question to the lab, and you convert that very sophisticated, Joel, to a project like if somebody is infected, is there immunity? Can, he, can somebody be reinfected? So I can explain the whole immunology and infectious disease part. And that was a project, and people have been studying it. Nature papers. But that's sophisticated output, based on a question coming from the real world. And so this, is my, this was my experience. I described it in Guardian a couple, couple of years ago. This was my experience to think, this is what public engagement is all about. The public talks back. And they, have ask, they ask you questions. They ask you issues. They have problems. And it's not only psychiatry, but it is also in people who uh, live in the Schilderswijk and their kids don't make it to school because they are, have an immigrant background, etc., etc. You know, it. there's a lot of those questions around. And you, you pick those questions up. You didn't even know there was a question there because you are in the same context. And you bring your research back in that context. So now I'm preaching already, eh? you hear? <laughs> And, and this is all. So this is the real. So and it can be very sophisticated output because very nice papers based on these questions. But also it can be very applied. It can be just a method. It can be just information that goes into the information package for for uh, for the homosexual men in Amsterdam to to how to behave, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is this is all about. And you we have we have seen everything there. And of course you 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 think that in medicine everybody is doing this? No. In medicine, when I became the dean, we were counting articles. We were just looking at general impact factors. And what I always said in, in Dutch, this, it's, it's nicer in Dutch than in English, the fatter van the patient, that's the slimmer you bent. Snap you die? Ik ook. So stay away from the dirty real world problems. Pick a problem that you can solve in four years in the, in the credit cycle. And then you have four or five of those papers in four years. And you make it to the next round. You get a, a FANI or a event, eventually a, a, a FIDI and a FIDI. And you become the professor, like Frank Miedema has been doing it. It's a game. But who is not in the, in the equation? The patients and the public. And you guys, you bring yourself into the context. And you bring those people in the context who are outside of your ivory tower context. And that's the difference. And now, of course, this is all about recognition and rewards. Because if... Where are you? You're <laughs> <laughs> if you say, yeah, 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 yeah I, I think, of course, this is interesting and, and people uh, like my work. That's what you said. Eh? But, I, but you also showed in body language, but I'm not really sure if my boss will really exp understand what that this is also academic output. You didn't say it, but you thought it. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> this will be recorded. This, this is the end of your career. This is the end of your career. So, so did you say that you thought that I didn't, etc.? So, so, but this, but this is really the problem, and we hear the problem all of the time, all of the time. People say, "Yeah, uh, I think we should do it," and 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 and, and we should think we should do it. I, I had people come to my office when I was a dean for ten years. It was a hard work. They, they had a thesis and they said, "That nightmare." Now I'm going to be just a doctor, an, an MD, and because. I had, to, I had to do research, not even the research that I liked the best. And Sander knows that he's there. He's, he's in the same faculty there. He's guilty. And, uh, but he knows. So this is, of course, so we are playing a game where, we, where people also are sort of forced to do research to, to get into, say, cardiology training or surgical training or pediatricians, whatever. And eventually they say, well, I didn't, I didn't even want it, but I needed it to get into the training, to get to, to, on, on my major specialist award. And, and, so, and, this, and this is, of course, all recognition and rewards. And now comes the, 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 the real difficult part. So how is it possible? Why is it that basic science, pure science, this is the fetter van the patient, this is the slimmer event, that that is, say, in higher esteem than what you are doing? I, sh should I explain it to you? Yeah. <laughs> of course, Madeleine, you do nice work. But you know, the real work, and, and you understand it. I know you know it. People like me, we do very basic stuff. We really, and, and of course, you, you, you eventually use our, our new information to do your thing, good. But you understand, of course, that in the, in the pick order, in the hierarchy, I'm sorry. You do a, you do a wonderful job, but I'm, but, but, but I'm sorry. <laughs> this is ironical, eh? yeah, this is playing. Yeah. <laughs> My God. <laughs> we get the irony. Yeah, we all recognize this. Eh? Yeah. So if you, if so, if if there somebody goes uh, to to Sander, uh, he now now he's now converted. Uh, but he has se seen people go to his boss and say, "I want to become a cardiologist." So what shall I do? Then you go 
to Hans Klevers in the Hubrecht lab, and you come, you, you, as a PhD, you make four, five papers, some of them major, cocaine in your nose, and then, because that's the addiction, and then you can go everywhere. The, 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 the surgicals, the, the, the cardiologists, the internal medicine, they all love you. Why? Because that is on your CV. Did it do anything to patients? N who cares? It was for your CV. So most of the times, and I am also guilty, we made papers for our CV and not to improve healthcare or the life, uh, uh, the quality of life of patients. Because it, you, I was also in the game. I had to, we had to survive. I had three kids. They had, they had, they had the new bicycles, hockey sticks, the tennis shoes. <laughs> we all, <laughs> really, long time ago, eh? long time ago. So, so this is the game we're all in, and you all, you're also in. You have a, you have a mortgage, I guess. She's lost. She has to play the game. No, but that, that this is not, of course, this is a little bit making a joke, but this is, of course, so therefore, it all comes down, and he, get, he gets restless. This, therefore, it comes all down to recognition and rewards. And recognition and rewards has to do with the image of science. So is pure science something, has, is, that an, is that more excellent than applied? No, it's a different excellence. So people who can talk to psychiatry patients have excellence. And some of the po people who do the genes of autism Please keep him away from patients. We all know that, Sander. Yeah, he's laughing. All <laughs> he's laughing all of the time. No, so, but this is of course the game. And so, and this is there. So, there's images of science that we still are, say, uh, are promulgating. We, we, uh, and so, I was also raised on that. And I think my earliest PhD say, Frank, I think in the, in the beginning of ninety in the, in the eighties, you were talking exactly like that. And then, of course, they said, okay, take me out and stone me outside if you are not guilty. Because that's that's in the Bible. So that's uh, so, but but this is a, this is a deep, serious problem. And Joel, of course, as a philosopher, he knows that, and he has read my book. Um, and so this is really the, the real question. So who is setting the agenda for what is excellent? And so when when we have these discussions, people say to me, "No, Frank, it's not about because I think it's about politics. Eh? Who gets the money? Who gets the the, the barrette and that, that type of stuff? And uh, of course, now we have to also spend some uh, some some barrette on for vrouwen." Mm -hmm. uh, who can it, eh? Ongelooflijk. And so, so th th that's the same game. So we're all in that game. So th and who is setting the agenda? Who is determining what quality is? Well, we are now trying to reinvent what quality is and what excellence is. And people even, so Henk uh, Kummering, he says, we should avoid using the word excellent because it is so tainted. It is besmet because of the use of the basics, etc. So, So, Lauren, do you really think you can make a career by doing that? No, no. And so, <laughs> do you do you, do you want to comment, right? Yeah. So this is uh, this is the real stuff, eh? So do you recognize it? I. Yeah, I no, yeah. Totally oh, you can touch, touch it. I touch it no, but hold I can't it. Hold. Um, totally <laughs> recognize it. Changing the game. Yeah. We're in the midst of changing the game. You we talked are. about la body language. We are. What's your three, two, no one, one <laughs> top tip <laughs> for how we as as um, career makers can change the game? I think um, what I always, so this is a, a tough question because we are in a transition and transition is difficult. Eh? So the very young people say, uh, like the, the, the people in biomedicine, but I came from, from the, the, the tough immunology, molecular biology, they say, well, for the, for the time being, I re really no need those papers. I know it's, it's boo, but I need it because I know these all people, especially guys, are still counting those and they give me the money and they, they will hand me the, the barrette. So, but for people in, in mid-career, I think there's now a time to step up and to say we can do it differently. And we, we will be on committees. And there's now also, if you look at what happens in the UMSA, we started in 2016 already do changing the game. And there now are people promoted to become professor that 10 years ago didn't make a chance, really. So there's, there's different types of things about excellence and quality in science. But it takes some time and it takes brave people in committees, but also academic leadership. So we. I, uh, as a dean, when I was a dean, but also Henk Kummerling, he's not here, uh, the, the next dean for humanities, they, these people should stand again. They should say, well, this is what we do. We do uh, different recognition rewards, and, uh, and, I, and, and we, we see to it. And I, I know that in the collection promotes these. Now, if there's a dossier and people use general impact factors, they just send back. Hans Klebers was complaining about it because NBO had sent his project back because he, had, he showed all his nature papers with general impact factors. Yeah, that was <laughs> that's an old game. <laughs> Even for him. So, so, but this is, of course, the game. And, and, you, and so, step up. And, of course, the problem is do you trust? Do you trust the system that eventually they will s cover your back? 
do you? And that's a difficult question. That's a difficult question. I think s somewhere s there are there are still uh, even in, in in UMC there are still spots where people think, well, of course we know, but anyhow, but so. And and do you, do we really trust that we are all in the same game? Also in Europe, in in in, in the ERCs, in 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 in, uh, in Horizon, etc. Everybody's doing it, but in committees, people have to really be. And that's so you have to see that, but you have a, a lot of so this is happening. This didn't happen ten years ago. Yesterday I was at Descartes. There was the, this. Uh, Joel knows that uh, the sophisticated philosophers are there, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we had the same discussion. They say, well, philosophy is nice and history of science is nice, but we can also do public engagement. We can also engage and, and pick up problems like Lauren Gould. I made you. I, I used your example. So th this is this is happening, but. Therefore, I'm here, and I think this is what we have to do. And everybody's with you. The, the, the board of universities is with you. The deans are with you. We're doing open science. We do recognition rewards. We have a beautiful system now that is being, say, tested in the, in the geosciences and also in, in the, at, the, at, the, at the, the sciences everywhere. And people believe that this is going to happen. And it happens in, in Europe. It happens in, in, in our country. So there's a lot going on. So that can be trusted. But in every committee, we have to be very moet op onze zijn. Because it's it's so difficult for people. So people really say, so high, and now I stop. All right. uh, highly educated people say, so, yeah, it, but it was nice. Hey, you could just s see a list of, of, of journals and, and journal uh, uh, papers, and you could say, ah, Anderson is a good guy. He publishes there and there. Whatever. Eh? And then you say, but, but uh, do you really say that you never read that type of stuff in committees? Yeah, of course, we were looking at it. No, you didn't read it. And I said, but, yeah, but that's very difficult, eh, Frank. Then, then we really have to read it, and, and, and then we have to, to, <laughs> to, to make a, a judgment about it. Yeah, that we call that peer review. That, that's what we call peer review. It still exists, eh? somewhere. And, 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 but it was so easy to, to just count articles. Eh? This, is, this is the game we're in. So, and our, our people are complaining. It takes more time. Eh? It, it, oh, my God. <laughs> and, and the other thing is, of course, uh, what, was, uh, what you were saying, I forgot your first name. Sana, when you were saying, yeah, it was always on Saturday and, and Sunday. It was my hobby, and it was not the real thing. And, and also, you were also saying the same thing. In the new system of recognition and rewards, it is key, and you can make a choice. I want to do this type of research, and I will show that I have excellence there. I will use the word excellence for that, hmm. quality. So it, you see how I talk about it? And, you see and how I'm going to have to it, cut eh? you off, uh, uh, Frank. Uh, uh, last last, last remark. You must to do this over praten om dit dus de hele tijd te doen.